it's going to be a video of the top 10 best Harbor Breeze ceiling fans. Um, I am in my room right now. Same room that has, um, which has a Hunter Ridgefield in it. Ridgefield in it. Um, this is the only ceiling fan that I own. It's the only ceiling fan in my house. I actually have a video of this on YouTube. And, um, you know, and you know that's, you know, in case, you know, you're wondering why I never did any videos of the ceiling fans in my house. Well, this is the only one in there. Um, and it makes a loud humming sound. I picked this for my 11th birthday. I was not expecting it to make a humming sound. I was hoping it was quiet, but, you know, so now... But, you know, I can live with it, but I, but for my next house, I think I'm, I'm, well, I'm not going to tell you yet, because it's going to, it's going to, you know, let me just begin. Okay, <laughs> so, so number 10 is the Tillman 2. Now, you're probably going to say that it's bad because the Tillman 1 is bad, but, but actually, um, Tillman 2s are better. I looked on Lowe's on the Lowe's website, and they're five-star rated. Well, the white version is. The other one's not, but I don't know why. Well, I mean, most most Harbor Breeze ceiling fans out there are one-and-a-half-star rated, but still, I go for the five-star rated fans. Even just, even just only four-and-a-half-star rated fans, I just, you know, after seeing reviews about sometimes getting them humming, I'm not going to do that, especially considering the fact that I have bad luck sometimes. So we got, yeah, so this one's, like, much better. You know, probably silent, and, you know, it's pretty cool. And then, um, number nine is the Freeport, and the newer version. Now, the older Harbor Breeze Freeport had, like, Harbor Breeze Baja blades, and was not very good, but the newer Harbor Breeze Freeport looks like the Harbor Breeze South Lake, except it comes in antique brass instead of... Instead of bronze, and um, it's actually this is a it's an it's only available on the Lowe's website, like like the Hover Breeze um, Exo set. Yeah, that one's also still available on the Lowe's website. Oh, as well as the Hover Breeze Cheshire too, but only in antique brass. Yeah, this one it you know it this one has skinnier blood. The newer Hover Breeze Freeport has skinny skinnier blades, and as far as looking at Lowe's.com, because, you know, it's still being sold, it was five-star rated, so, you know, I, I decided I have to put that on the list. Number eight is the Nautis. Now, the Nautis is a new Harbor Breeze ceiling fan for this year, um, and it's like the Coastal Creek, except the mortar housing is differently shaped, and it has, uh, four lights instead of one light. Actually, it's a, the blades are different as well. It's def it's actually much better quality than the Harbor Breeze Coastal Creek though. Yeah, it's definitely definitely yeah, it's definitely much better quality. Oh, and speaking of Harbor Breeze Coastal Creek, my aunt got a Harbor Breeze Coastal Creek um in 2018. She was going to replace she was going to use it to replace the um Walmart impression ceiling fan in her room, but she still hasn't installed it yet. <laughs> so I guess this is what I did. I go <laughs> So I tell her, I think my new Christmas present should be the fact that I should be seeing that new fan installed. Okay. Yeah, so as far as I know, Nottis, you know, the Nottis is five-star rated. You know, I looked at reviews, no humming or anything. So number eight is the Nottis. Number seven is the Grace Bay. Now, Grace Bay is also a new Harbor Breeze ceiling fan for this year. And certainly it would make sense for this one. This one's also five-star rated. It certainly makes sense for this one to be good because this one actually has... This one actually has a, um, a skinny switch cap. One of the, you know, the regular si switch cap size switch caps that they use on a lot of ceiling fans. Well, you know, every... Pretty much every ceiling fan company has, you know... Like, Hunter's the only ceiling fan company that don't have that particular kind of switch cap that the Harbor Breeze Grace switch housing that the Harbor Breeze Grace Bay do, does. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, they, well, they did, they actually had skinnier switch caps, um, before, back, <coughs> back in, you know, when Hunter first became a company until, like, the late 90s. That's when the, they started putting bigger switch caps in, they cut, you know, and then the, then they'd start, um, 
using the blade brackets um, shaped in a way where it would ca you know, cause it form a sealed motor so that no dust gets in it. Well, the Great Spade doesn't have that, but you know, that's really fine. You know, it's still it's still a good fan because as far as I know, it's quiet and probably blows lots of air. So, and then number six is the Echo Lake. Now, the Echo Lakes um, are another new Art Harbor Breeze fan, I believe from 2015 or 2016. And, you know, they're five-star rated, so I decided I'd put that on the list as well. And, you know, it's an, and that one's actually an outdoor fan, and so is the Freeport and the Tillman, too. And then, yeah, so number six is the Echo Lake. Number five is the Larolin. Now, you're probably going to say that Larolin's an Allen Roth ceiling fan, not a Harbor Breeze ceiling fan. Well, not anymore. It is now a Harbor Breeze ceiling fan. Because when I was at Lowe's, I saw that it was in a Harbor Breeze box. <laughs> Which is, you know, pretty cool. It's now officially a Harbor Breeze ceiling fan. And, um, this, and it was, it was on clearance, though. But then, and they were, so they were going to discontinue it, but then they didn't. Same thing happened with the Harbor Breeze Edenton. Like, online it said it was on clearance, but, but then yesterday, it didn't say it was on clearance anymore. They discon, I mean, they canceled the discontinuation of the Harbor Breeze Edenton and the Larolin. And, um, they were also going to discontinue all of the Harbor Breeze Barnstable base, but I guess they're only deciding to discontinue the Brush Nickel one. Well, at least, you know, but still, I think they should discontinue all of them, because, um, Barnstable bays are not good. Okay, anyway, Laura Lens are 36 inches. They have four blades and, you know, blow a lot of air. And it was five-star rated as well. Probably quite as well. And, you know, I guess it makes sense because, I mean, this is, like, this, it's made by Alan and Roth. And, you know, if Alan and Roth ceiling fans are good, you know, maybe, maybe it's just the fact that it's made by Alan and Roth. It's good. Yeah. And then, um, number four is the Caitlin. Now, the Caitlin is a Harbor Brew ceiling fan that is only available on the Lowe's website. Yeah, they have it right now. It's a ceiling fan made for girls' rooms, and but but I picked it because it's five-star rated. And, um, I believe it's an older model because, you know, if it's a kids theme ceiling fan, it should, it's def it would have to be an older one because, you know, that was an early to late 2000s kind of thing. And so it's definitely an older one, but it's still being it's still available on the Lowe's website, and it was five star rated. So number four is the Caitlin. Number three is the Houghton. Now Houghtons are now Houghtons are another Harbor Breeze ceiling fan. That's an, another Harbor Breeze ceiling fan that's only available on the Lowe's website, and I believe that that one's an, also an older model because it's a brush nickel ceiling fan. But it has white blades. You don't see that every day. That is an early to late 2000s kind of thing. An example, an example of a, a brush nickel sand fan with white blades would also be a the Hampton Bay Hawkins or um, a Harbor Breeze Europa, which um, my dad's um, parents own. I made a video of it. Yeah, and the Hounds are good, you know, because. <coughs> You know, they, they're definitely, yeah, they're five-star rated. And the cool thing is you can get three different variations. You can get one that comes with four lights. You can get one that comes with only one light. Or you, or you could get one that only comes, that doesn't come with any lights. So, like, three, diff three different variations of that fan. So, that's pretty cool. And then, um, number two is the Thoroughbred. Or thor Thoroughbred. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's not really a common Harbor Breeze ceiling fan, you know, because this, this is another one that's only available on the Lowe's website. And these ones are five-star rated as well, and they have an uplight, actually. <laughs> Obviously, if it has an uplight, it, it would have to be an older Harbor Breeze ceiling fan, because that's an early to late 2000s kind of thing. Ceiling fans have uplights. Yeah. Or it's got, like, an entire lighted housing. It, yeah, it's got a light housing. And it also has, like, star, star on, you know, the side of the motor housing. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then number one is the lakeside. Now you're probably gonna, yeah, so out of all the ceiling fans I put on this catalog, I put on, not the cat, not catalog, um, top 10 best hardware ceiling fans list, lakeside is the only one on here that's discontinued. The rest are still available. And, um, you know, lakesides, of course, are good because, you know, it's an older hardware ceiling fan and they have six blades and they have five lights, which is pretty cool. But, you know, fortunately, they don't make fans like that anymore. That's, that's a product that will never be seen again. Yeah, and actually, I know a lot of people would, would be dying to see what the, the original lakeside is. The original Harvey's Lake set looks like. Well, um, someone has a a video of the Harbor Breeze Lakeside one on on YouTube, and basically, it's not. The only difference is that. Only difference from the from that fan from the Lakeside two is that the Lakeside one has pretzel brackets. Yeah, you know, Lakeside twos are good, and Lakeside ones are as well. And Lakeside's a, Lakeside two is a childhood fan for me because. You know, every year my family goes to Frankenmuth, and there's a general store there, and it had a Harbor Breeze Lakeside 2 in there, as well as a Harbor Breeze Classic Style and um, uh, an ornate-looking ceiling fan that had, like, looked, you know, like 80s. Well, I have to admit, if the if the other two Harbor Breeze, if the other two ceiling fans in there were Harbor Breeze, and I'm guessing that one had to be Harbor Breeze as well, but I don't know the model name of it. But, you know, that's the top 10 best Harbor Breeze ceiling fans. You know, bye.